Bowie Grana Weep Nini Bong, I'm Engineer Hoist, and welcome to our weekly Transformers Earth Wars news stream. Uh wanna say hi to everybody in the chat. We've got Big Bronze Rim here, Grand Galvatron, Brady F, Overwatch, Red Alert was first in the chat, uh Dojack, uh Jer Barbara, Optimus Rodimus, it's Friar. Uh, Jester, William Hackman, Altabot Phil, Hot Rod 77, a lot of familiar faces as usual. Thank you so much for tuning in every week. I uh, didn't have a question today because honestly I couldn't think, think of one. Uh, but we are here to talk about Hoist and Crankcase coming to the game and about the details. And uh, we do have a crystal cracking. I've got some combat chips and a five star crystal. Uh, to crack tonight, so stick around for that. But let's first get to the news. This weekend's event is called Prime Deliverance. Uh, the new bots Hoist and Crankcase are joining the ranks. Gather your alliance and take part in this weekend's event to win up to 100,000 Spark, 75,000 Combiner, and Combat Spark, 100 Deliverance Crystals with a chance to win 3 or 4-star Hoist or Crankcase. Some of their character shards, which is a new twist, and some also some uh, other crystal shards, like 3-star, 4-star, and premiums. Uh, this is a prestige event, as you might have guessed by the 100 crystals. Uh, it starts at the usual Friday start time, ends at the usual Monday start stop time. There are 100 prestiges and super XP throughout the event, and I agree, Start Saber, this event should have been called It's About Time. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, to participate as it's an alliance event, you do have to be headquarters level four, be in an alliance, and then you uh, select that yellow event button, pick your zone, pick your battle, and uh, collect the points and the prizes. The event battle zones are the standard battle zones, and the prestiges, it's a very small prestige le uh, list, uh, but is uh, 10,000 points per prestige. First you get some combiner spark, then some combat spark, then the regular spark, and then you get that all important deliverance crystal so what are in the deliverance crystals well you've got a 25 percent chance to get a hoist or crankcase something uh you can win up, up to either 100 character shards or a three star or a four star so the nice thing with the character shards being in there that's basically the same thing as getting like a uh, two star uh, character because you can then go turn those uh, character shards in for the two star if you want to or you can save them for a future three or four star if you just don't care about the two star bots so it's a nice little twist that they've added uh, plus then you also have a chance for 100 four star shards 153 star shards or 500 premium shards remember you have a chance to get up to 100 of these crystals so that's actually uh very very good I, I, I like i like this uh new uh way they're they're doing this so this is kind of like a short turnaround on these hoist and crankcase we kind of just learned they were coming last week and already they're coming into the game so we're going to learn about their bios and their abilities and i even have hoist available in, on the test account so we'll be seeing him in action here once we get through the slides um, but uh, first, as always, let's read the bio. Hoist is one of the best construction engineers on Cybertron, but it isn't his technical skill that most other bots remark on. Rather, it's his positivity and strength of character that shines out, inspiring everyone around him to be better and try harder. It's hard to quantify the effect Hoist has on his fellow Autobots when fighting alongside them, especially as he himself has serious misgivings about his slowness in vehicle mode and poor fuel efficiency, but his cheerful, upbeat nature can generally dispel the gloom of even the darkest hour. And it doesn't hurt that he often comes bearing gifts of much-needed spare parts. Very cool. I do like, I, I like, I like that. And that's very true to the Hoist character. He's, he was always uh, known as being kind of a jovial personality and upbeat and positive. So very cool. I do like that. His ability is called the Engineer's Touch. And this is a healing type of ability. For 10 seconds, you and your allies attack faster and receive health every second. And it's very cool. And uh, the uh, hoist was always known as a maintenance engineer, so I'm sure that's where they got that. As much as I'd like it to be kind of a tribute to me being engineer hoist, I'm sure that had nothing to do with it. Uh, but we can pretend that it is. Uh, <laughs> if I want to be a little vain there uh, for a moment. But uh, <laughs> let's move on to Crankcase. 
and uh, we'll come back to and see Hoist in, in action here once we get get uh, to the end. Um, Crank Case can ruin even the most upbeat mood. His ungracious, ungraceful presence enough to cast a cloud of gloom and despondence wherever he goes. No one likes him, and he's generally ostracized by his fellow Decepticons, few of whom are exactly the life and soul of the party. It's almost like he sets out to demoralize the rank and file, always complaining about every little thing. All that said, Crankcase is a very strong and highly skilled data collector, a mine of often vital intel, making him an essential part of mission planning, even if it means putting up with his wheezing tirades. So it's kind of funny that Hoist and Crankcase are like complete opposite personalities. Hoist is there to bring you up and Crankcase is there to bring you down. And uh, it's, fu it's funny, uh, when I was reading this uh, bio of Crankcase, I was thinking a lot about Dirge, kind of like the... You know the sad sack always complaining about stuff like that. It's uh, uh pretty pretty cool. Uh, so and, and yeah, his his ability is basically the exact same thing. It's called the engineer's touch. Same exact ability, just the icon for it's uh, slightly different. And uh, that's it for the slides. Uh, you can uh, if you're watching the replay, head on over to twitch.tv slash engineer hoisted Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Eastern to join us live uh, for the recordings. And you can also follow me at engineer hoist on Instagram and Twitter for infrequent behind the scenes content. All right. So first up, I didn't show it earlier, but uh, here is Earthrise Hoist, who this uh, in-game model of, of Hoist is clearly based on. He has been upgraded with some Toy Hacks labels, uh, but uh, you get the idea. That's It's pretty much spot on, uh, just like Trail, Trailbreaker was, uh, because they do share the same mold. So we saw Trailbreaker in the game. Pretty good idea. Hoist was coming soon, and we, and we weren't wrong. So there we go. How about we head on over to the game? This is the test server, as noted up along the top of the screen there because uh, don't pay attention to any of the uh, ridiculous amounts of currency I have. That's only for testing. This does not affect my uh, main account in any way. Uh, it's, it might be a little small, but I wanted to show I do have the avatar already engaged there. So a uh, nice little avatar of hoist. <laughs> uh, can't wait to get that on my main account. And let's go ahead and, and again, to pay no attention to this uh, slew of five stars, again, provided for testing and demonstration purposes only. Uh, so here's a, here's a look at Hoist and his abilities. He is a special class bot, as we might have expected. He is not a medic. He does not do any healing uh, other than his ability. And he's a medium range, which is pretty much what I was thinking uh, he was going to be or what made sense for him. Very similar to Hot Rod and Cup, that same kind of a medium range ability. And the stats are pretty much in line with that as well. And let's take a look at him in the, the lab or the hangar, the showroom, whatever. Let's zoom right in. So there he is. Let's zoom back out so we can see him completely. Uh, yes, so there is Hoist in the game. They've even got the whole uh, tow carriage on his back there with his uh, sensor array and everything. And we go transform him. He pulls that out as a gun. It's not a hand attachment, but hey, you know, that's okay. You could do that with that weapon as well. And there we go. He's got him in his tow truck mode with his gun just kind of hanging off to the side there. <laughs> I uh, hope the suspension on the le on the uh, left the driver's side is a little bit stronger than the right hand side if he's going to have that much hanging off. <laughs> but if anybody's going to know about having the right suspension, it's going to be Hoist, the uh, maintenance engineer, right? Okay, so there we go, and ready to go. Yeah, he doesn't have anywhere else to put it. Yeah, exactly. He doesn't really have anywhere else. Uh, unless, I mean, he could put it in the subspace pocket, you know, the same place Prime puts his trailer when he transforms, but uh, I guess maybe Hoist doesn't have access to that. So, let's go ahead and take him into Roll battle. Roll out. I've got him on here with a random assortment of other characters. Uh, Hoist definitely is a support bot. He's probably not going to be doing any soloing. Uh, same thing, everything, remember, every time I say something about Hoist, it's also referring to Crankcase as well. So I've just got him on here on this uh, random assortment of uh, characters. I do not have Crankcase on this account that I, I can see. I could check. I didn't see it come through as, as being on here. Uh, 
You know, I didn't check to see what kind of combat bots he could he could hold. My guess is uh, anything warrior or gunner specific, uh, it's not going to be uh, allowed, but uh, we can double check. Okay, so first up, we'll go ahead and drop hoist at first so you can kind of see what his attack looks like. So he's going to go in here and he's going to attack this. So you can see he, get, he gets a little close and it's kind of a, a medium range kind of a thing. It's a, not, a, not a gunner by any sense of the imagination. Deploy. Deploy. And let's let everybody else get up in here. Okay, so we'll, we'll do his ability now. Um, it doesn't really matter where you uh, drop the ability. It, it just kind of, uh, you can see he kind of pulses very much like Micronus. Except with, instead of being the Microna symbol, it's an engineer uh, or like a wrench symbol. And what it does is it, like like, like we said, it, it speeds speeds up your allies, and you can kind of see the little uh, white arrow pointing up above them. Those are the ones that are sped up, and you can see all the green numbers. Those are the health that are coming in to uh, help out. And that's a nice quick battle. If Hoist gets hacked, will his ability still heal? Um, not really sure about that. I, I would think, well, if he's hacked, you wouldn't even be able to use his ability. But if he gets hacked mid-ability? That's a good question. Would he be useful for raids? Uh, that might... It might be actually because he does add the little. If you, if your bots tend to be grouped during the raids, he does heal everybody in the group plus increase their speed, and he also still attacks too. So it, he might actually be work, uh, pretty useful for raids. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, check the combat bots. I think that bet would be best if I go in to hoist it here, equip a combat bot. So obviously Dial and Night Stalker can be equipped to anybody. So you've got Fire Drive, Flak, Top Shot. So, so any of the melee type of bots uh, or uh, combat bots like uh, Taraxodon or Smashdown or even Sound Barrier. Uh, obviously the Medic one for Rung is not available. But uh, so yeah, those are basically your five. Dial, Night Stalker, Fire Drive, Flak, or Top Shot are your available combat bots. So let's go ahead and uh, put them through the paces one more time. Maybe we'll try a harder base and see, see how that works out. What's the one next to hoist? Well, I'll tell you in a minute. Well, you got Tigerhawk on the one side and Chromia on the other. So this is Megatron. Deploy. Roll out. So I can go send everybody in here. Oh, we found a mine. Go uh, use some double dealer ability. We got sent six gun, fired off six gun there. We'll send double dealer over there. Maybe we'll engage Cheetor. A little bit of Chromia, a little bit of Tiger Hawk. We could probably use some more hoist on these guys as they're walking around. Seem to be doing pretty good. And that was uh, quick work for the uh, that little uh, Megatron base. So, uh, pretty pretty good one, I think. Uh, so, saw you asking uh, would be a hoist better than tracks. Well, they've got different uh, different uses. Tracks shields the bots uh, with his cloud, and uh, and it, and once you drop the cloud, it stays static. Hoist he will will actually heal the bots he adds health points to the bots and it speeds them up and he his ability moves with him so 
So, so uh, just di different uses. Uh, now, if you use them both together, yeah, yeah, so you have the healing and the shielding, that would be uh, quite the combination. I'm not sure if I would replace tracks with hoist. It, it would be worth trying. But if you if you have a spot for him uh, alongside tracks, that might be uh, pretty awesome. Don't forget about Hoist's famous British accent. Uh, in the G1, indeed, but uh, I, I don't re really do a convincing British accent that uh, I'm willing to share. Uh, so so we got a nice, nice uh, little look at Hoist there. I think it's going to be a, a good bot, uh, a good support bot. Certainly not uh, a bot that you're going to use to go solo a bunch of bases. Um but he, he might uh, do pretty good uh, up to a point because if you just keep firing off his ability, he will speed himself up and heal himself. So, I mean, he, he could do all right, but I don't think he'll be quite the number one solo bot like like a lot of those guys uh, that, you, that you hear about. I uh, hope we get an alien mask power course. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Oh. All right, so we're back over to my actual live account. So we're going to go check through these crystals. Uh, but we're going to, before we do that, we're actually going to go and claim a couple of crystals. I actually have a three star crystal to claim, doesn't really matter. But the five star crystal. I was hoping to do this in its own video, but it didn't get a chance to do it this weekend. So we'll just go ahead and include that in, in this one. Uh, so the que so now we come down to the question. Do we want Legacy 1, 2, 3, Force Complete? Do we want f 5 or 6? Or the uh, current batch? No, not the combat chips. The 5-star uh, crystals. This has got Blades, Laser Optimus, Jetfire, Rhinox, and Smokescreen. I'm kind of leaning towards this one. Biggest reason why I'm leaning towards this one is it doesn't have a medic. I've already got Ratchet at 5-star. I'd rather not have a second 5-star medic already. And um, honestly, I don't really know which order I would want these guys in. So I'll just take take what I can get. Rhinox would be great because I don't even have a 4-star Rhinox. Uh, pretty sure I have a 4-star of everybody else. I do. So Rhinox would probably be the best out of there because I don't have the 4-star uh, uh, of him yet even. So we will, yes, confirm getting this crystal. And we will not do this yet because we've got combat chips, chips to crack. <laughs> we'll do the three-star crystal. So we're going doing all of that. Uh, nice build-up just to make you guys wait. I apologize. But uh, we, we, <laughs> we're going to go through. And so there's the sound barrier chip. We'll, we'll do that last. I don't even know what the rest of these are. Glitch, hey, we've got a four-star glitch out there uh, to uh, potentially find. Oktar saying, smoke screen it is! <laughs> I'd be okay with smoke screen. Oh, look at this. Four-star glitch. That was easy. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, no, it actually it actually glitched and gave me the four star <laughs> pretty early on. <laughs> okay, so you know what I'm gonna do. The only thing left out of, out of here, I think, to get. Our sound barriers, so I'm going to spare you guys the um, the all the parade of duplicates. I'm sorry, the duplicate city, the dupe city of all the rest of the combat chips, and we'll just go look for sound barriers now, and then we'll get to that five star crystal. I guarantee you, every other one of those combat chips is going to be duplicate. So I haven't seen sound barrier. You should at least see the two star, I, th I would think, at some point. Nope, still just a uh, trench foot. They're smashed down. <laughs> Taraxodon. 
And again. There he is! He was hiding under the floor this whole time. Nice to see you, Sound Barrier. Nice of you to show up on the tenth crystal of you that were named after you. And let's go through the second ten and see, see if we can find the three or the four star. I knew that glitch threw us off. What G Metal G1 Power Core? Oh, we didn't get that far. We just got a silver. We just got to the silver. It was a jazz, in case you're interested. Yeah, I know. I think it's funny when they come up from the floor. Okay, so out of all of that, we just got two two star sound barriers. Okay. Well, I guess I'll be uh, cra cracking uh, some more of those, uh, buying some more of those at some point. All right. Five-star crystal. It's going to be Blades. Or Laser Optimus. Or Jetfire. Or Rhinox. Or Smokescreen. Let's see who it is. There we go. Five-star crystal coming at Five-star coming at you. And it is Rhinox! Alright! Perfect! The one that I don't have at 4 star is the one that I got out of this 5 star crystal. That actually works out beautifully. I would not have minded any of the other ones, but the fact that I didn't even have this guy as a 4 star, uh, this just works out perfectly. So now we've got him, and uh, I can actually go and learn how to use him because I really haven't used him much because the three stars just been kind of sitting there collecting dust. Uh, got no excuse now. Five star Rhinox is going to have to be uh, in play uh, here pretty soon. Oh, and we've got the sound barrier story. Let's go and see. Look, back off. Don't just go all grabby there. But you're a combat bot sound barrier and a shield generator to boot. So what's the problem? Yeah, we say engage repulsive field, and you say how strong. Ain't that the way it works? No, Cup, it's not. I ain't some bit of a kit you just check out of the armory. Bare minimum, I like to be wined and dined first, you know. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Come here, you little widget. <laughs> I'm going into battle, and I need some extra armor. You're it. Well, see, Sandstorm, that's fine and dandy, but in the heat of battle, I may just suddenly forget where I am and disengage defensive mode. What? Why, you little... Uh-uh. Shield generator and combat bot, I may be, Springer, but your general well-being is entirely secondary to mine. Capiche? <laughs> Heh. You know, Sand Barrier, I'm starting to like you. This could be the start of a beautiful friendship. And again with Grabby. <laughs> oh boy that, that that's pretty funny i do gotta say that was a nice little uh, bit of dialogue there with sound barrier um yeah <laughs> good call um yeah uh so i think that's about all we got to do uh here for the for uh this week's uh news stream uh for those of you live stick around we will hang out afterwards as we usually do for those of you watching the replay uh you can always check us out wednesdays at 8 p.m eastern on twitch.tv slash engineer hoist i'm engineer hoist keep rolling my friends and we'll see you next time